Hello everyone. I hope all of you are fine. Welcome you to SSB Sure Short Academy and to this special session on Indian National Congress and a struggle for freedom. So ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to understand the Indian National Congress and its contribution towards the freedom of India. So in this session, we will cover from the inception of the Indian National Congress when it was formed in the year 1885, then after till independence. We will understand the role and the major steps which was taken by Indian National Congress for the benefit of Indians. Actually, the Indian National Congress was one of the biggest platform at the time when Britishers were exploiting Indians and the exploitive administrative policies which were made against the interest of Indians. So these all be, was, were countered by the Congress. And actually this platform itself was created by Britishers. So these all we are going to discuss ki ye kitna important role play kiya hai Indians ke liye. And at the same time, we will also understand ki the Congress has brought various movements against the policies of Britishers. So let's understand the freedom struggle with the help of timeline of Congress. So let's see. First of all, before I proceed, I'll discuss the content what I'm going to discuss today in this session. So these contents covers overview as usual I will give you the overview of the concept of the Congress at the first. Then we will discuss its formation and its objectives. Actually, the Congress has never had the political objectives in the beginning. I'm talking about beginning. So in the beginning, it has uh, the different objectives to collect the interest of Indians and discuss it with the Britishers. Then I will discuss the role of A.O. Hume. This person was a retired civil servant of Britishers who played a biggest role to form Indian National Congress. And it, you can say it is a kind of opportunity for Indians that it, they go to Indian National Congress where they can discuss their interest and some agreements can be made with the Britishers. Then we'll discuss the important sessions of Congress. Actually, Congress used to had annual session in the month of December, but there were some special session for special needs that we'll discuss. Who all were the president in various sessions? Sessions ka ye headquarter kaan pe tha? Matlab wo ye kis place pe session organized kiya gaya? To is area se bhi aapke questions aate hain exam mein. So we'll touch upon these topics from the examination point of view. The examination like NDA, CDS, FCAT, etc. At last, we'll discuss the conclusion of the Congress. Next, see, uh, let's come to the overview of this session. So the overview of the International Congress, first of all, we need to understand who formed it. And you can see here, it is displayed that Indian National Congress, which is also known as the Congress Party after independence, and this party, uh, the International Congress, it was a major political party and it is a major political party in India. It has ruled most, uh, uh, the, the INC has given most of the prime minister in India after independence as well. Then we'll see it was created in the year 1885 by A.O. Hume, Dada Bhai Noroji and Sir Dinso Iruji Wacha. So ladies and gentlemen, all three names are important. If question comes, which of the following were not involved in the creation of 1885, uh, creation of Indian National Congress? So you should remember these three names. Then we'll discuss during this phase, it functioned not as so much as a political party. I have told that the National Congress beginning a political party ka role play. Nahi kiya. Ye, it was uh, actually British's ka concept that the nobles hai, Jo highly uh, qualified and highly influential people hai, Indians. Let them give a chance, a platform to speak. And this platform, this platform was Indian National Congress. Later on, this platform took a shape of 
presenting the views of rebellions, so called the freedom fighters from Indian side against Britishers. And that concluded to get a better scope for the freedom of Indians from the British. The Indian National Congress was initially focused on moderate reform, moderate reform under the British Raj in India. Some, uh, some early 20th century activities began to boycott British imports and promote Indian goods, garnering the support of a wide swath of social classes. So these all we'll discuss in the session. And uh, in the 1920s and 30s, party leader Mahatma Gandhi supported non-violent acts of civil disobedience. Civil disobedience, which had started in, in the year 1930. And it was uh, started with the breaking the law of salt making process. Jisko Dandi March se suru kiya gaya tha. Apart from this, there were non-cooperation, Khilafat movement, Quit India, and many more. The Indian National Congress rep uh, represented the desire of political conscious Indians to establish a national body to express Indian political and economic demands. So it was basically to present the demands of Indians to the Britishers. Later on, it became a platform to grant the rights of freedom against Britishers. Then we'll see if uh, the Indians had performed such a body on their own, the official would have vehemently opposed. Of course, agar koi Indian aisi sanstha ko banate ya form karte us samay mein, to British officials obviously they, they would have crushed it. Hana? Oh, they, they would have not supported this. But as it was formed with the help of Viceroy Lord Dufferin and Evo Hume, the ex-civil servant of British, so it was recognized by them. With the establishment of the National Congress in 1885, the struggle for India's independence from foreign rule was launched in a small but organized way. Actually, they gave a platform and it was a good opportunity for Indians to present their views in an organized way and to present their own activities in an organized way through Congress. Before we proceed to the topic, I would like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that SSB Show Short Academy has all the solution for the classes, which includes SSB classes, personality development classes, written courses for NDA and CDS. So these for these all classes, you can get all the classes you can get here and you may contact us with these two numbers. These numbers are shown here in the, uh, on the display. That is 7259407311 for written courses. And this number 7259307311 for SSB courses and personality development courses. And you may download our application from Google Play Store to get a special discount on these courses. So with this, we'll proceed forward to the subtopic of this session that is formation of International Congress. Let's see some of the important steps of the formation of International Congress. So a retired English civil servant, Evo Hume, gave this idea to give a final shape by mobilizing leading intellectuals of the time the leading intellectuals who were becoming the problems for the Britishers and these intellectuals were Indians to give them a chance to make, uh, uh, let us listen them. So, unko sunne ke liye kuch platform ki hogi, so they formed the Congress. You may obtain permission from the then Viceroy of India, Lord Dufferin, for the first session and it was supposed to be held in Pune. Lekin ye kahan pe hua tha? Mumbai mein hua tha. Yaad rakhna, us samay Bombay bolte the. So, this formation ka jo first session tha, that was held in Bombay, not in Pune, but it was supposed to be held in Pune, but it was moved to Bombay due to cholera outbreak in Pune. So, that is not important. You should remember Bombay was the place where the first session of Indian National Congress took place. Hume had written an open letter to Calcutta University graduates in 1883, and that way the process was completed and initiated by Evo Hume. The concept was given by Evo Hume. Actually, Evo Hume himself was more conscious about the uh, freedom and the rights which the Indians should get. 
the INC was a moderate organization in its early years, limiting the limiting its methods to constitutional methods and dialogue. But later on, it took a shape of political organization and to fight back the Britishers. Its demands were restricted in the beginning. Uh, the number of Indians in the civil services, armed forces, it never mentioned independence in the beginning. So till uh, 1905, it has the moderate concept to ask for the demands. After a few years, the party demands and approach became a more radical. By 1905, the, there was a clear schism in the party, which was not split between old moderates and the newer group. So after 1905, it was actually in the year 1907, which is known as the Surat session of the Congress, in which split between the Congress took place. Old moderates and the newer groups, that was the extre extremists. So named because of their uh, radical methods. The nationalist activity was carried out through provincial conferences and association newspaper and literatures in addition to the Indian National Congress. Next, we'll see to promote friendly relationship between nationalist political workers from various parts of the con country was the again concept because you will when you will see the Congress, Congress ne apne beginning se, it has focused on the what we uh, what we call as the to focus on the pan india policy so to promote friendly relations between the nationalist political workers from various parts parts of the country it shows and uh, inc was made more focused on the pan india concept to get support of all to take uh, advantage for the independence and freedom struggle Next, we see here to develop and consolidate a sense of national unity, regardless of caste, religion, or provinces. So, ये जो concept है Congress का, जिससे हमें ये पता चलता है कि Pan India को इन्होंने कैसे support में लिया. So to make a unity and to fight back with the overall, you can say the collective thoughts and the concept. Which and the collective demands of the people to get freedom from Britishers. Next, we will find Evo Hume, one of the important personality who talk, uh, who played a major role with the concept to form the INC. That was the Indian National Congress. So his role is really appreciable in the context of Indian views. Next, we'll see, we'll find here that the Evo Hume sympathized with the Bombay and Pune groups more than with the Calcutta leaders such as uh, Surendranath Banerjee and Narendranath Sen. Actually, he was willing to understand the problems and the exploitations, exploitive policies of the Britishers to the Indians. So he was interested and willing to understand. So he brought the concept for the formation of Indian National Congress. Next, we will start the important session of the Congress. See, with the help of this timeline of the Indian National Congress, we will understand what are the major steps were taken, taken by the Congress for the independence of the people of India. So the first session, which was held in the year 1885 in Bombay, and the presided by the WC Banerjee. So here from the question maker, where was the first first session was uh, held? That was that is Bombay. Then our uh, president is uh, president was WC Banerjee in the year 1885. Formation of Indian National Congress in this year. Next you will find the second session was in 1886. I am not going to discuss all the sessions, but of course the important sessions. From your examination point of view, where from the question may comes, I will discuss. If you watch this session on uh, Congress, I'm sure any questions will not be missed by you from the Congress. The second session was held in 1986. As I told you, Congress used to held session every year. The annual session was held by the Congress. 
in the month of December. Sometimes there used to be a special session when it was needed and when uh, there was a special need for that session. Second was held in Kolkata under the presidency of Dada Bhai Noroji and merger of Indian National Congress and Indian National Conference. He was one of the senior leaders. Dada Bhai Noroji was one of the senior leaders and he was the, I think, of, uh, he, wa he was the first person who became the member of British Parliament. Next, we'll see the third session in, in the year 1887. And this time, the in this session, the first Muslim president presided. And uh, he was Sayyid Badruddin Tiabji. Sayyid Badruddin Tiabji was the first Muslim leader who became the president of Indian National Congress in the year 1887. Next, you will find that is the fourth session in which the first English president, George Yule, presided Indian National Congress. First English president in the year of 1888, and the place was Allahabad. So here from the first Muslim in the, in the third session of 1887, first English people that was in the year 1888, that is the fourth session, the first English president, and George Yule was the first English president. These are the important uh, points from this uh, session. Next comes, in the session of 1896, National song Vande Matram was song, sung for the first time by Ravindranath Tagore. So, here the question is that Sarva Partham Vande Matram is going to go to the session? Where is the Congress? So, this is the Congress in 1896. And at that time, the president was Rahimtullah Sayani. Place was Calcutta, Vande Matram. So, here you can see. This person, person is Muslim. Why I'm telling this thing? Because you might have heard Muslim people doesn't want to say one day matram. We have heard in news it was sometime in parliament also we have seen that was there. But you can see for the first time the one day matram was sang. It was sung uh, during the presidency of a Muslim leader, Rahimatullah Sayani, along with him in the session of Calcutta. And that was an Indian National Congress session in, of the year 1896. Next, we'll see in the session of 1899, the demand for permanent fixation of land revenue was kept. And this session was led by Ramesh Chandra Dutt and at the Lucknow. <clears throat> Next, you'll find, find the first time Gandhiji appeared in the Congress. Never get confused. Yeah, Gandhi came in India in the year 1915. That is different thing. But before that also Gandhi came in India for a very small time span. And at that time he appeared in the Congress. At that time he was uh, working for the freedom of South African people. So when he visited India after his law degree, so first time Gandhiji appeared on the Congress platform in the year 1901. Never get confused. This is important point here from question comes. In which year Gandhi appeared for the first time? Option will be 1901, 1915, 1916, 1917. So you will understand, oh, sometime Gandhi came in 1915. So it may be 1916. Anna? Or you may relate it with the Champaran revolt, Champaran movement, as it was the first movement by the Gandhi in India. So that way you should understand. In the year 1901, he came for the first time, appeared in the Congress. He had not major role to do, major role to play at a time, but he, he came to understand the people of India in this session. Next, we'll see. That is, uh, in the 1905, president was Gopal Krishna Gokhale and the place was Benares. In this session, the former proclamation, not formally, but so this is movement against the government. So this is movement. So this means Hamara Kudkaraj, Swaraj. So this is movement. So this concept, Sarva Pratham, jo yaha pe session mein laya gaya, that is 1905 by Gopal Krishna Gokhale under the presidency of Gopal Krishna Gokhale. So this is very important. Here are some questions. Aate hai, remember this. Next comes Dada by Noroji, Noroji led in the year 1906 in Calcutta session. 
and he adopted four resolution swaraj the self government boycott movement swadeshi and national education then comes in the year 1907 this was uh, you can say not good session not good uh, result of this session because in this surat split congress got splitted into moderates and extremist under the leadership of ras bihari ghosh in surat to inke dauran kya hua congress mein split hua moderates and extremist ka formation hua extremists had concept and ideology to fight britishers with their extremist ideology kahin pe bam se uda do fight back with arms or moderates tha ki leaders have up administrative control because india ke paas na to prepared army thi na hi indians ke paas utne weapons the so that they would have fought back to unhone extremist ne kya bola ki congress ye britishers ka attention draw karne ke liye hame kuch khurpati karna padega jaise ki bam phod dena kahi pe है ना तो जस्ट टू ड्रॉ द अटेंशन टू आर्ट सर्स तो ये एक्सट्रीमिस्ट और मॉडरेट्स में स्प्लिट हो गया विल सी अगेन इन द लखनऊ पैक्ट इन दर 1916 दोनों मर्ज हो जाएंगे फिर दैट विल सी नेक्स्ट व्हेन गांधी जी विल अराइव नेक्स्ट इन द सेशन ऑफ 1910 सर सर विलियम वेडरबन एंड इन द ये इन इलाहाबाद हेल्थ स्टेशन एंड द मेन पॉइंट वाज मोहम्मद अली जिन्ना डिक्रीज the separate electorate system introduced by act of 1909 ye jo 1909 ke act the morley minto reform jisko hum bolte hain isme pehli baar separate electorate concept laya gaya on the basis of religion muslim aur hindu ke basis pe separate electorate system laya gaya kisme morley minto reform mein 1909 ke reform mein to isse mohammad ali jinnah na khush the at that time so for this for the first uh, th this was the major points which was discussed in this session next we'll discuss the uh, session of 1911 which was held in kolkata and the presided by bn dhar first time recital of janagana mana in a congress session aapko yaad hona chahiye ki bande matram bhi first time kolkata session mein hi hua tha aur janagana man bhi jo first time hua tha wo kolkata session mein hi hua tha theek hai तो बी एन धार इस बार प्रेसिडेंट थे उन्नीस सौ में नेक्स्ट विल सी द 1916 द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन इसका जो मेजर पॉइंट्स था जो इसको प्रिसाइड किए थे एसी मजुमदार और ये लखनऊ में हुआ था इसको लखनऊ पैक्ट के नाम से भी जाना जाता है तो इसमें क्या होता है यूनिटी बिटवीन टू फैक्शन मॉडरेट एंड एक्सट्रीमिट्स ऑफ कांग्रेस इन दोनों को यूनाइट किया गया जो स्प्लिट हुए थे सूरत सेशन में राज बिहारी बोस के प्रेसिडेंटशिप में उन्नीस में तो उनको यहां पर क्या किया गया था मर्ज किया गया था तो एक्सट्रीमिस्ट एंड मॉडरेट्स वर कम मॉर्स हेयर इन दिस सेशन एंड लखनऊ पैक्ट वाज साइंड बिटवीन कांग्रेस एंड मुस्लिम लीग तो यहां पे देखो पूरा यूनिटी हो रहा है इंडियन पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स का सर्वप्रथम क्या हुआ कि मुस्लिम लीग जो फॉर्म हुआ था उन्नीस में उसको अभी यहाँ पे मर्ज किया गया साइन एग्रीमेंट साइन किया गया कांग्रेस और मुस्लिम लीग के साथ और उसके बाद कांग्रेस खुद में यूनाइट हुआ फिर मुस्लिम लीग के साथ एग्रीमेंट साइन किया बट इसमें ये एक बात याद रखना है कि ये ज्यादा दिन चला नहीं ठीक है विल सी अगेन देयर इज अ वेरियस स्प्लिट इन 1922 एट द टाइम व्हेन द प्रेसिडेंट विल बी सीआर दास तो वो भी हम देखेंगे नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ 1917 व्हिच वाज हेल्ड बाय एनी बेसेंट इन कोलकाता एंड दिस वाज द फर्स्ट वुमेन प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ कांग्रेस एनी बेसेंट ये फर्स्ट वुमेन प्रेसिडेंट है फर्स्ट इंडियन वुमेन प्रेसिडेंट कौन है सरोजनी नायडू तो ये कॉन्सेप्ट आपने याद रखना है नेक्स्ट विल सी इन द ईयर 1919 मोतीलाल नेहरू प्रिसाइडेड दिस सेशन इन अमृतसर एंड कांग्रेस एक्सटेंडेड सपोर्ट्स टू खिलाफत मूवमेंट टू ड्रॉ द अटेंशन ऑफ मुस्लिम एंड टू गेट देयर कॉन्सेप्ट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ यूनिटी वॉज स्प्रेड टू टेक सपोर्ट ठीक है तो खिलाफत मूवमेंट में एक्सटेंड किया गया खिलाफत मूवमेंट को सपोर्ट किया गया इस सेशन में ये इन द सेशन ऑफ 1919 टू गेट द सपोर्ट ऑफ मुस्लिम ब्रदर्स एट दैट टाइम नेक्स्ट विल सी 
सेशन ऑफ 1920 1920 में दो सेशन हुए थे एक तो था जो एक स्पेशल सेशन हुआ था आपको नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट को सपोर्ट करने के लिए और उसके आवाहन के लिए उसके स्टार्ट करने के लिए एक स्पेशल सेशन का ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हुआ था और एक नॉर्मल सेशन जो दिसंबर में हुआ था 1920 का विल सी एट द स्पेशल स्पेशल सेशन देर वॉज लाला लाजपत राय वॉज द प्रेसिडेंट एंड सी विजया राघवा चार्यर फॉर नॉर्मल सेशन यू आर द प्रेसिडेंट प्लेस फॉर स्पेशल सेशन वॉज कलकत्ता एंड फॉर नॉर्मल सेशन वॉज नागपुर तो स्पेशल सेशन में क्या डिक्लेयर हुआ कि नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट रेजोल्यूशन को स्टार्ट किया गया महात्मा गांधी मूव द नॉन कॉपरेशन रेजोल्यूशन इन स्पेशल सेशन रिकन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ वर्किंग कमेटीज फॉर कांग्रेस ऑन लिंग्विस्टिक बेसिस नॉन कॉपरेशन क्यों स्टार्ट किया गया था जालिया वाला वाग मासिकर जो हुआ था उसका दैट वॉज दन ऑफ द इमीडिएट इफेक्ट यू कैन से टू स्टार्ट द नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट मोहम्मद अली जिन्ना लेफ्ट द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस एंड अगेन देर वॉज अट ऑफ यू कैन से मुस्लिम लीग uh, का मतलब मर्ज जो था मर्जेंस वो खत्म हुआ यहाँ पे नेक्स्ट विल सी इन 1922 सी आर दास प्रिसाइडेड दिस सेशन एंड इट वाज हेल्ड इन बिहार गया की पॉइंट इज द सी आर दास एंड अदर लीडर्स ब्रोक अवे फ्रॉम आईएनसी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्वराज पार्टी सो सी आर दास ने स्वराज पार्टी का फॉर्मेशन किया स्वराज पार्टी स्वराज कंसेप्ट कब आया था उन्नीस में आया था स्वराज का कंसेप्ट ठीक है रवि सिया दास ने क्या किया स्वराज पार्टी का निर्माण किया कब 1922 के सेशन में नेक्स्ट विल सी सेशन ऑफ 1924 व्हिच वाज हेल्ड बाय महात्मा गांधी एंड दिस वाज द ओनली सेशन व्हिच वाज हेल्ड बाय महात्मा गांधी और ये कर्नाटका के बेलगांव में इसका सेटअप किया गया था मतलब प्लेस था बेलगांव प्रिसाइडेड बाय महात्मा गांधी सरोजनी नायडू उन्नीस में सेशन कांग्रेस सेशन को प्रिसाइड करती है और सी इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन वुमेन प्रेसिडेंट टू प्रिसाइड ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू इन द ईयर 1925 1924 में गांधी जी करते हैं फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड देन सरोजनी नायडू सेकंड इन द नेक्स्ट ईयर 1925 एट कानपुर नेक्स्ट वी विल सी इन 1928 मोतीलाल नेहरू फादर ऑफ जवाहरलाल नेहरू हेल्ड दिस सेशन एट कलकत्ता एंड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑल इंडिया यूथ कांग्रेस सो एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द कांग्रेस कांसेप्ट टू द यूथ वाज मेड इन दिस सेशन 1929 is very important session which was presided by Jawaharlal Nehru in Lahore to ye jo tha 1929 ka session in this session only 26 january was observed as a independence day and it was declared by Jawaharlal Nehru and uh, in this session they passed the resolution on purna swaraj ab swaraj aur chhodo choti boti adhikaron ki baat hatao hame pura swaraj chahiye and we want full independence so this was declared for the first time in the session of 1929 which was presided by jawaharlal nehru at lahore and then only the 26 january was observed as a independence day next we'll see and uh, you should remember ki for this date only that is 26 january our uh, constitution was brought in the it was commenced you can say it was commenced on 26 january 1950 so is date ko memorize karne ke liye then in the session of 1931 bala bhai patel presided this session the resolution of fundamental rights and national economic program was prepared endorsement of gandhi irwin pact after the uh, you, you, after the civil disobedience the gandhi irwin pact was रेजोल्यूशन वॉज मेड फॉर द गांधी इवेंट पैक्ट जब इससे नहीं हुआ तो राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस की शुरुआत हुई तो राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस में गांधी नॉमिनेटेड टू रिप्रेजेंट आई एन सी इन द सेकेंड राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस जब तीन राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस हुए थे फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड इस तीनों में से एक में ही कांग्रेस ने पार्टिसिपेट किया डेट इज गांधी वॉज रिप्रेजेंटेड गांधी रिप्रेजेंटेड कांग्रेस इन लंदन इन द सेकेंड राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस भीमराव अम्बेडकर वॉज द पर्सन हु रिप्रेजेंटेड and who participated in the round table conference in all three round table conference aapke ye jo bpsc ka paper leak hua hai usme ye question tha jo 67th bpsc jo cancel ho gaya exam to usme ye question it this question was also there which of the following person who uh, who participated in all three round table conference it was bhim rao ambedkar so is type ke questions aate hain exam mein next session was in 1934 or uh, next important session is in 1934 which was presided by rajendra prasad 
एंड वॉज हेल्ड इन बॉम्बे सो इस टाइम क्या हुआ था कि अमेंडमेंट इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ द कांग्रेस कांग्रेस की जो अपनी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन थी उसमें कुछ अमेंडमेंट्स लाए गए थे अंडर द प्रेसिडेंसी ऑफ राजेंद्र प्रसाद फिर नाइन उन्नीस सौ सैंतीस में आप देखोगे जवाहरलाल नेहरू ने प्रिसाइड किया इन फैजपुर फैजपुर एक विलेज है छोटा सा उस विलेज में फर्स्ट टाइम सेशन हुआ था जो कि विलेज में हुआ था 1938 में सुभाष चंद्र बोस पहली बार कांग्रेस के प्रेसिडेंट बने और उन्नीस में उन्होंने छोड़ भी दिया कांग्रेस तो इन 1938 सुभाष चंद्र बोस प्रिसाइडेड द कांग्रेस सेशन इन हरिपुरा एंड नेशनल प्लानिंग कमेटी सेटअप अंडर जवाहरलाल नेहरू नेशनल प्लानिंग कमेटी वॉज सेटअप उन्नीस में इन्होंने सुभाष चंद्र बोस वॉज री इलेक्टेड बट ही रिजाइंड एंड देन दिस्टम वॉज प्रिसाइडेड बाई राजेंद्र प्रसाद एंड He formed the Swachh Chandra Bose formed the forward block. Question आएंगे कि forward block किसने form किया? Swachh Chandra Bose ने form किया. कब form किया? 1940 में form किया. जब इन्होंने कांग्रेस से resign किया. And ये कौन से session हुआ था? Tripuri session. तो question ऐसे भी आ सकते हैं कि in which session Swachh Chandra Bose formed the forward block in Tripuri session of 1939. Remember this. This is very important session. और यहाँ से questions आते हैं. Next. 1940 Abul Kalam Azad. This person is the person who served as the Congress president for the longest time. Abul Kalam Azad at Ramgarh. This session was held in 1940. So civil disobedience movement to be launched at appropriate time and circumstances. Okay. So yeah, Abul Kalam Azad, longest serving president of Congress. Then from the period of 1941 to 45, this period is marked by events that is Quit India movement. Which held in the year of 1942, then Royal Indian Navy Mutiny, which is known as RIN Mutiny, INA trials, large number of officers of ये uh, army के जो officers थे उनके trial किए गए Red Fort में. So the INA trials was there. The age of constitutional negotiations, जैसे कि constitution बनाएंगे, India का कैसा constitution होगा, how to make constitutions. कौन कौन से प्लान्स आए जैसे कि क्रिप्स मिशन आया टू गिव सम फ्रीडम सम सॉर्ट ऑफ फ्रीडम्स वेवल प्लान आया कैबिनेट मिशन ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ दिस इवेंट्स ड्यूरिंग दिस प्लीज ड्यूरिंग दिस फेज नो कांग्रेस सेशन वाज हेल्ड और इस सेशन में यही हुआ आर आई एन म्यूटनी आई एन ए ट्रायल्स इट मतलब जब गांधी जी ने डू और डाई का स्लोगन दिया क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट में देन आफ्टर द फेज ऑफ नाइनटीन एंड फोर्टी कंप्लीटली डेडिकेटेड फॉर द फ्रीडम फॉर द डिमांड ऑफ फ्रीडम एंड एटलीज डिक्लेरेशन जिसके कारण हमें इंडिपेंडेंस मिला एटलीज एटली देन यू कैन से प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ ब्रिटेन हु डिसाइडेड नाउ इंडिया शुड बी फ्री एंड देन माउंट बेटन प्लान वॉज मेड एंड माउंट बेटन वॉज सेंट टू इंडिया टू गिव एट एनी कोस्ट इंडिया शुड गेट फ्रीडम सो दैट वॉज बाय द एटलीज डिक्लेरेशन तो नेक्स्ट सेशन विच वॉज हेल्ड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स at the place of uh, merit so we were discussing uh That is, the next session was held in 1946, which was presided by J. B. Kripalani at Meerut, and the key points which were discussed in this was like uh, it was the last uh, last session before independence, and J. B. Kripalani was the president of INC at independence, and this is important because question comes who was the president of Indian National Congress before independence or at the time of independence? It was J. B. Kripalani, okay. so with this uh, we came to the end but before we conclude i'll tell you some of the important sessions the steps which was the contribution of the congress and the major role played by the congress for the freedom of indians you can see here the congress movement both before the advent of gandhi and after played a major role in shaping the idea of india congress was a platform of lord dufferin to get the voice and to listen the voice of indians but this later became the part of uh, rebellions to fight for freedom 
it has lot many circumstances problems which was faced by congress for example split reunion and many more so apart from these all problems congress was able to unite all in whole india the pan india organization what is called the congress at that time was able to unite and to listen all kind of administrations and the agreements and the demands of people by organizing session at different parts of india this was the beauty of congress which was formed in 1885 this earliest congress leaders like the that is the moderate leaders held the inc sessions from bombay calcutta madras and allahabad uh, if you look to these four sessions of bombay calcutta madras and allahabad you will find these are the four different corners of india it shows the concept of congress for the pan india inclusions the very name indian national congress was based on the idea of entire india indian national congress with the advent of gandhi the idea of india is spread over in rural areas as well so with this uh, we came to the end of this session i hope you would have uh, enjoyed this before i conclude again i will tell you the next session will be on the the following uh, moments which are displayed on the screen now which provide great impetus to the idea of india these were due to the congress because of uh, due to the because of congress the swadeshi movement of 1905 khilafat movement of 1919 non cooperation movement of 1920 civil disobedience movement of 1930 and quit india movement of 1942 and along with this there are various gandhian programs which were conducted in uh, in this congress at last i would again would like to remind you that ssb short short academy runs various courses including series nda fcat written courses and ssb of course for online and offline both for offline ssb the course starts every first 11th and 21st of the month and for online courses you may follow our instagram that is ssb sure and you can call us on these two given numbers to get a special discount on the various courses you can download our application from google play store with this we conclude the session Thank you so much.